what's up guys welcome back it's been a long time since i've done a video like this but it is time for an updated one so let's get to it so today i'm gonna go over your must have slash shopping haul for cruising now if you guys want an alaska cruise version go ahead and hit that thumbs up button and comment that you want one and i'll do one for you so all of my cruising must-haves slash essentials come from Walmart, Target, Dollar Tree, and Amazon. Now these are just some of the essentials that I think every cruiser should have. What you bring is totally up to you, but you can use this video for some ideas. Alright, first we're gonna go to Walmart. Alright, here are just some of the few things that I get from Walmart. First off, Downy Wrinkle Release Spray. I don't know how many videos I've set this in now, but Downy Wrinkle Release Spray actually works. Especially whenever you're on a cruise ship that has a paid laundry or you have to send off your laundry to, to get clean or ironed for formal night. Use this instead. Downy Wrinkle Release Spray works. It works. Don't be a skeptic like me because it works. So Downy Wrinkle Release Spray is the first item from Walmart. You can find a lot of things in the travel section at Walmart. The next thing I suggest you get is Dramamine. Even if you don't think you might be motion sick, I would suggest you have these right in your back pocket, especially on those rough sea days. I mean, no one really wants their cruise vacation ruined by getting sick, right? Have some Dramamine. Also, you're going to be eating a lot of exotic foods. And a lot of foods that your gut honestly is not ready for. That's why you need Tums. A small travel size Tums is good for both on the ship and during your shore excursions. Just in case you have a shore excursion that offers you food as well, you got Tums to help out in case of a bad situation. Also, this was me before COVID and this is gonna be me after COVID. Clorox wipes or Lysol wipes, whichever suits your fancy. This is a must have, especially whenever you first get on a ship. You gotta wipe down those common surfaces like your handles, your phone, in case you wanna order room service, and the TV remote. Clean it, get the germs away. Another thing I suggest you get from Walmart is a bunch of aloe. Now, this is the one I specifically use. Um, it's by Mary Kay, it's like their uh, after sun replenishing gel. Um, but I truly, truly suggest you get a lot of aloe. I made the mistake by getting a travel size aloe for my very first cruise and we were so sunburned. Like that little tube of aloe covered my arm. That's it. <laughs> so don't go cheap whenever you're choosing aloe. Get the big bottle, pack it in your luggage, you'll be fine. And last thing I suggest you get from Walmart is a small umbrella. You never know when it's gonna rain. Especially in the Caribbean, it can be raining torrential downpour for 15 minutes and then com be completely sunny. So, if you have a tiny umbrella, you'll be good. Up next are items from Target. First things first, Target has a lot of great selections for travel size cosmetics. You can find a lot of your common brands in a small travel size. No need to carry your giant makeup bag or toiletry bag full of full-size cosmetics. You can go to Target and find the perfect travel size cosmetics. Another thing from Target, outlet converters and outlet docks. Sometimes the cabins have limited outlets and you want to make sure that you have enough outlets to charge your items. You can't bring a surge protector, but you can definitely bring outlet docks. And I have found some good ones at Target. Also at Target, you can find the best swimsuits. Up next, Dollar Tree. So now, unlike the last time I did this video, Dollar Tree is now a dollar and 25 cents. They really should rename it to the Dollar Quarter Tree, if you ask me. But nevertheless, you can find some really good finds for your cruise at the Dollar Tree, like door decorations. Every cabin door looks the same. Every single one of them. So having something to distinguish your cabin from others is the way to go. Now how are you going to hang these? You need some hooks and magnets. You can find these heavy duty magnets at the Dollar Tree. Don't get the small circle ones that you can put on a refrigerator. You have to get 
the heavy duty big big clip one these are really good to hold up your itineraries your shore excursion tickets onto your wall also they're really good to hang up your door decorations they also have heavy duty magnetic hooks just in case you want to hang up a lanyard or hang up door decorations that have a handle like this. At Dollar Tree, they also have bags of clothespins, the small ones, and the big plastic ones like this, in case you want to hang up your wet laundry, your wet swimsuits, inside of your bathroom shower. So a good trick is whenever you're at the beach or poolside, you hang over your towel over your beach chair, and you clip it at the top. That way, it doesn't blow away. If your cruise line only offers bar hand soap, in your cabin bathroom, I would suggest just picking up a pump of liquid soap from the Dollar Tree. That way you don't have to worry about your bar of soap slipping and sliding everywhere, getting stuck to the counters whenever they're not in use. Liquid soap is definitely the way to go. And last but not least, a wonderful find and probably my favorite find from the Dollar Tree for cruising, a bingo daughter. If you like to play bingo, you need to get you a bingo daughter because the cruise ships will easily charge you three to five dollars just for this pick you up one your favorite color from the dollar tree pack it in your bag and you'll be good to go up next amazon first things first from amazon luggage tag holders now i'm not a fan of the way that the cruise lines want you to secure your luggage tag to your luggage this is the way to go. It's easy, you just slip your luggage tag in here, zip it up, that means it's waterproof, and it's not gonna go anywhere because of this, this clasp at the top. Secondly, a document holder. Not only is this good for holding your passports, it's also good for holding vaccination cards, holding itineraries, shore excursion tickets, anything of the sort. Inside, it has pockets, zipper pouches, it also has a spot where you can keep a pin, which I highly suggest you bring a pin so you can fill out those custom forms. All right, like I said in the beginning, you're gonna be eating a lot of exotic foods. And uh, if you're not traveling by yourself, if you're traveling with a loved one, companion, a friend, get you some poopery. Trust me, it saves you <laughs> and the other person. Get you a good 10 foot charger. Six foot will also work but a 10 foot phone charger, either for your phones, your iPads, your watches, cameras, get a long charger just in case your only outlet is clear across the room. Other things from Amazon that I highly suggest you grabbing is a waterproof shore bag. Again, you never know what the weather's gonna do, but you gotta be prepared for all situations. Packing cubes are also a great purchase especially if you're not the best of packers. Also, it helps whenever you're unpacking your stateroom for your week-long cruise, or however long your cruise is. Get yourself a good waterproof camera, like a GoPro or a Nikon Coolpix. You know, something that's good in all types of weather, and one that's tough for all types of excursions you may be going on. You could also find a really good drone on Amazon. Now, check with your cruise line before bringing a drone because they might confiscate it. And last but not least, a good pair of sunglasses, because why not, right? It looks good, blocks you from the sun, and you'll be good to go. All right, so those are my cruise must-haves slash essentials. If you have any cruise must-haves or essentials, leave them down in the comments below. Also, if you would like me to do an Alaska cruise version of this video, go ahead and give this video a huge thumbs up and comment that down below. So, if you haven't done so already, go ahead and hit that big red subscribe button down below. Whenever you do subscribe, don't forget to hit that notification bell so you don't miss any videos that I post, and I will see you on the next adventure. Bye! <laughs>